What's up everyone, welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So less than 24 hours ago, our dog was sprayed by a skunk, and he is now inside chilling in the air conditioning. So I'm gonna show you an effective uh, process to get your cat or dog cleaned off and smell free. So first and number one rule is do not hose them down. After the short break, I'll show you the exact things that you need to put together and the process to make them skunk free. All right, guys, I have no uh, footage of us actually doing this process because it happened at night. But what you want to do is you want to immediately, before you hose down your pet, you want to sprinkle baking soda all over their coat or wherever they got sprayed. I was very, very uh, liberal and putting the baking soda right on the spot where it was he was sprayed. Um, it's basically a patch on his neck that was about this big, just the green nastiness, just uh, sprinkle that baking soda all over them. I used We used a sifter to uh, kind of coat him um, and let him sit. Now while, you're, while you, one of you is letting them sit, or, or if you're going at this solo, um, you let them sit outside with the baking soda on them. I took a cheap spray bottle like this, um, and what you do is you add one quart of hydrogen peroxide. Thank goodness we had some laying around. And then we have Dawn. So you get two tablespoons of Dawn, one quart of hydrogen peroxide. Put the hydrogen peroxide in the spray bottle first, and then uh, put your two tablespoons of Dawn in on top of it. And then you can shake it up a little bit and agitate it. Now, once you put your spray bottle back on, you're gonna head back outside to your pet. I used the entire spray bottle or the entire quart of solution and sprayed it all over him. So every bit of his body that I could possibly get, um, I sprayed it all over him. Now you need to let that sit. I let that sit for 15 minutes. Um, the, the internet usually says 10 minutes, but now 15 minutes I let that solution soak on him. You need to keep it wet. So just keep spraying, spraying, spraying. Of course, concentrate on the spot that uh, he he or she was sprayed directly by the skunk um, and then let it sit. Then after you've waited the 15 minutes, you can go ahead and spray them off with water. So you can usually obviously put rubber gloves on um, and start to lather them up and uh, spray them off. So you can repeat this process if you think they still stink. Um, the only part that still stinks on Rambo right now is his snout right above his nose, in between his nose and his eyes, um, because we legitimately you know, can't reason with him enough to be able to scrub that area with hydrogen peroxide and Dawn. So it is you know, just a part that we're gonna just keep rinsing off. But he's in the house and he doesn't stink uh, at all. Um, you can only really smell him when, he, uh, when you get really up close to him. So I hope this guy helps you guys uh, in the process. Um, it might get your area a little dirty when you're doing it, but it's a lot better than having him stink. So he actually slept in the bedroom with us um, less than you know an hour or two after he got sprayed by the skunk. So this definitely works. It is 100% proven. Um, good luck in your future endeavors. <laughs> All right, I hope this video helps some of you guys. If it does, put a link in the comments below. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. If you're subscribed to the channel, well, I guess we'll see you in the next video.